stranded here right now because of a snowstorm. There's quite a bit of snow outside. If you want to take a look, I'll shut off my interior lights so you can see a little bit better. The time is 7 a.m. Look at all that snow on my hood. Can you see it? I might have to show you once the sun comes up. There it is, see? Just ahead of me there is the ferry. The ferry that's got to take me to Split Lake, Manitoba. And from there I can take, I can go home. I'm first in line. There's a couple of people lined up behind me. I don't know if the ferry's gonna be going today. The good news is that it looks like some workers have gone past me and they're on the ferry right now, getting it ready or getting it started or checking it out. The ferry is supposed to leave at eight o'clock in 45 minutes. Well, it's 7.15 now, not seven o'clock. I have my doubts because it's still snowing pretty heavy and it's supposed to snow all day. I've got no cell service here. I can't call home to let them know I'm okay. It's not the worst case scenario. I can walk back up the hill and I can get a little bit of a cell signal. I can text home. But for the most part, there's no cell service here and I'm stranded. So uh, it's Tuesday today. October uh, 25th. I wanted to be back in southern Manitoba today already, but Mother Nature had other plans. So I'll keep you updated on what's going on here. I really hope the ferry's going to be running today. I really hope so. Even though the snow is pretty heavy, I have my doubts. But I did see three workers go onto the ferry, so maybe they're maybe they're getting it ready. Maybe we'll still go starting to clear the snow off my truck so that if they do decide to go that I'll be ready. I went down there and asked the guys working there. They didn't know. It's not their call to make. They're just trying to get things ready in case they do decide to go. I wanted to show you all the snow on my truck before I cleared it off, but I need to get ready to go. And it's still dark, so... Man, winter time, right? You can't say we didn't expect it. There goes another worker. Well, the sun is up and there's a lineup of people behind me. And these are the locals that would have a much better idea if the ferry is running than I would. So that's a good sign to me. Because yesterday, I didn't know the ferry was cancelled, but they all knew it was cancelled because they were listening to the radio station here. Well, I went through every radio station I could find, and I finally found their one radio station, 107.7 FM. And it plays my kind of music too, the old-fashioned twangy country, like the old, old-fashioned stuff. I love that stuff. My wife hates it. Anyway, so I've got some music to listen to, and I haven't heard anything about a ferry being cancelled yet. get copyrighted if I show you anymore uh, yeah I'm feeling better now than I was before cleaned off my hood and everything of snow and I'm, I'm now thinking we might load but there's still a chance we won't I really hope so I really want to but then again once I get to the other side of the lake I don't know what the weather's gonna be like there have they cleared the roads it's a long remote highway or gravel road back to Thompson from there and I really hope that they were on the ball and clearing it otherwise it's I'm not gonna be able to go anywhere anyway but at least then I'll be past this step right I'll be over the ferry this is what life is like as a truck driver in Canada they call it the Great White North for a reason half of the year is this and the other half of the year is mosquitoes and searing heat and sunburns I've said it often before, uh, half the year, the sun won't leave us alone. It burns us to a crisp. Everything is beautiful, nice and green, it's hot. And half the year is this. And the sun goes and hangs out with our brothers and sisters in Australia for six months. Now, I don't mind sharing the sun with you guys down under, all right? 
you guys are our sister country to us. I understand you need some sunshine too. You need your summertime, but would you please not hold on to it so long this year? Last year it was a little bit long. You guys uh, were a little bit greedy with the sun and the heat. I just uh, humbly request that, you know, once your, once your summer's over, can you please give that heat and sun back to us here in Canada? It would be much appreciated. This is just the beginning of winter. It's not even winter yet. This is still fall. What is it? October 25th. Winter starts December 21st. Oh no. I just realized that. It's still it's just under two months until winter even begins. Ah, uh, love it. I love my country. I do. The pain is a snow, but you know, uh, the pain is a snow. Yes, the, the pain is the snow, but uh, it's uh, better than better than rain in some parts. Because rain gets you all wet. But snow, as long as it stays off the road, I don't mind it. It looks nice, right? It's beautiful. It makes the countryside beautiful. Just, I just don't like it when it's on the road and in my driveway. I know it's pretty far away, but they're, they're shoveling, shoveling off the deck on the ferry. So that says to me that they're making room for us to park on there. Why else would you shovel it, right? Someone needs to get these guys a skid steer. There's three guys on there shoveling that whole thing off by hand. I thought there was a skid steer coming. I'm like, oh, no, they're probably just getting a head start. Skid steer will be here soon. There's no skid steer. It's not coming. And they might need to get a tractor in here to clear all of this snow. I mean, maybe they won't. I mean, since it's downhill, I'm not going to get stuck. There's no way I'm going to get back up the hill. So once I'm down there, we better go because I'm not getting back up here. Well, it's a good thing I fished around for a radio station. Uh, the time is now 9 o'clock a.m. And the announcement finally came over their radio here that the ferry this morning has been cancelled. They're going to try again at 1.30 this afternoon. I think there's a good chance that we'll load at 1.30. Uh, take a look. It's pretty clear, right? Right? I would go. Sailor Josh would do it. Come on, Captain. Let's go. He's sitting in his captain's chair up there right now. He can probably see me sitting here looking at him, looking at me, looking at him. I, I think if it if it stays like this, 1.30 makes sense. That gives them time to clear the deck because they're still shoveling there. Still. They still haven't brought them a skid steer. I know that they, they've got to have a skid steer in town here, right? Or on the reserve? I do. They're shoveling it by hand, and that's heavy snow. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to walk up the hill with my phone. I know I can get cell service up the hill around the corner. Just, I can't get data, but I can get texting and maybe a phone call in, maybe. I know I texted from there yesterday to Britt just to let her know, hey, I'm okay. Everything's fine. We're going to try loading again at 1.30. I think there's a good chance. Oh, I feel like a little bit of a celebrity. got an honorable mention on their radio station when they said that the ferry's gonna try boarding at 1.30. They made an announcement that uh, there's gonna be a big truck. That's me. There's a big truck on the ferry and uh, might be a tight squeeze. Old Blue got a mention on the radio up here. Not by name, but we knew it was. they were talking about it. I guess these guys want to get on the ferry too, eh? So it's going to be them and me. There's quite a bit of snow. Such a remote community. It's amazing that people make a life up here, you know? It'd be very difficult. Supplies can only get here when the ferry runs. Or in winter time on the winter roads. This is their hockey rink. I just walked up here to grab the Wi-Fi signal. Checked in with family and everybody. Let them all know how it's okay. Everything's going good. And by the looks of it, the weather is pretty much cleared up. I think we're gonna board at 1:30. Walking back to the truck now, just to be sure that I don't miss that. It's only like 10, 9.30 right now. I just 
just don't want to, you know, be uptown here, if that's what you want to call it, uptown, when they're loading, and then miss it. <laughs> That'd be terrible. That's their school up there. So it's about a kilometer or uh, like three quarters of a mile or so to the motel where uh, they gave me their Wi-Fi password there. There's also Wi-Fi at the restaurant right next door from what I heard. But I uh, gotta go up there to get my cell signal so that I can check in with everybody. But like I was saying, like I'm pretty confident we're gonna get out of here this afternoon. Thank God for that. Ah, I'm sweating, I'm actually really warm. My hands are cold because I didn't bring my gloves, but the rest of me is just hot. I had a sweater and my winter jacket, which I'm really glad I brought my winter stuff along. Have I said that already? That was a good idea. Came right out of here. It's now 10.40 a.m. and the captain of the ferry just came and talked to me here and updated me. They're going to try to leave at 1 p.m as long as weather holds and doesn't get worse again. Uh, he says the way it looks right now, we'll be going. But uh, he also, you know, noted that weather can change up here pretty quickly. He said he's not too worried about the wind as much. It's not that windy, but he's worried about the snow and the visibility because there's some reefs out and sandbars out in the lake that if you hit them and get hung up, well, then you're stuck out there for a long time. And you got to drop anchor and you're, you're stuck there until you get pulled out, which could be, you know, over 24 hours. You don't want to risk that. Better to stay on shore than to get stuck out in the water. If you, if you look out here now, the weather is looking pretty decent, right? So my hopes are high. 10, 40, so 11, 12, two and a half hours. We should be on the way as long as Mother Nature just calms down. Northern Manitoba is a wild place. We're just about ready to load the ferry. Oh, oh, they just got him out. Oh, he's stuck again. He's, 
the Ford got stuck, so the Dodge showed up, then the Dodge got stuck, then we got the Dodge unstuck, now they're getting the Ford unstuck, don't hit me bud. I think they'll be able to get him out, but he's got to back up a little bit now because he's getting pulled into me. <laughs> Give her, bud. Just don't pull him into me. Don't pull him into me. Don't pull him into me. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. It started snowing pretty bad again. I was actually getting really worried that they were going to cancel this ferry, but got a whole bunch of like passenger, like pedestrian passengers boarding now. And uh, this person was just dropping someone off, I think. They were turning around here anyways, and they got stuck. But everybody's out now. Everybody's out. And nobody hit the truck. That's good. <laughs> A little worried there for a second. Kept pulling them closer and closer and closer to my front end here. I can't back up. I, uphill behind me. There's no way I'm pushing my trailer uphill in this snow right now. I got one direction I can go. Down to the ferry. I don't really have a choice. I think they're going to load me first is what the captain said last time I talked to him. I'm probably going to go right down the middle of that ferry there. My hopes are really high seeing all these pedestrians board right now. There's probably like five, six, seven of them. It's a very small ferry, small community. My hopes are high. The time is now 12.54 p.m. They wanted to uh, leave at one. So it's, all I gotta do is make sure I don't get stuck here. Do you guys think it's clear? They canceled, the, they canceled the ferry again. I'm less disappointed today, I'm more upset. We've got at least four to five miles visibility, no wind, just a little snow falling, and they canceled the ferry. My whole week is shot. I know I'm not a sailor and I'm not the one in charge of this, and maybe there's something that they see that I don't. But they just spent all day clearing it out here, getting it ready to go. The weather, in my opinion, is just another light snowfall, light light winter day, and they canceled the ferry because of a little snow. It's not my call to make, and uh, maybe there's more reasons behind it that I don't know. But now I'm here until at least 8 a.m. tomorrow, and if they don't leave at 8 a.m. tomorrow, I'm not even going to be out of here tomorrow yet because there's two ferries supposed to be going tomorrow. And there's a fuel truck coming for the community here in the afternoon. And there's no passengers, no one else allowed on the ferry with the fuel truck, fuel truck only. So one ferry is out of the question tomorrow. And that's in the afternoon. But I guess if they don't leave here at eight in the morning, they're not gonna get over there to get the fuel truck to bring it here. So there's that. This is really taking a big bite out of my wallet. It's taking a big bite out of my wallet this week. That is what it is, upset, disappointed. I accepted this load up here. I don't know why I did. I don't think I will again. I guess it's a fair weather ferry. It only, you know, it only goes out on absolute perfect pristine weather days. I mean, I can see clear across the lake from here. I don't know what the reason is. Maybe the equipment broke? That would make more sense to me. I'd say that's trucking, but this has nothing to do with trucking. <laughs> Relying on a boat so that I can get to the other shore because there's no road leading here. We're not on an island. There's just, they, the, the government hasn't built a road to this community. <laughs> They've been asking for one for decades. There's no road here. They rely on a boat that won't even bring them to the other shore if a few snowflakes are falling. Like that is... That is remote, and that is that would be hard to <laughs> make life work with that. Like, what if you? Well, there's no hospital here, from what I could see either. What if someone had to get to the other shore for medical care? I guess I guess you'd airlift them 
Let me just fly him out of here then, I guess. So that'd be the answer to that. Uh, still stranded. I'm just gonna stay in my truck. I'm gonna wait a little while before I check in at home. I told him I'd check in this afternoon, tell him what's going on. But the best thing to do when you're in a bad mood is don't spread it. Don't put other people in a bad mood. Today's vlog has mostly just been me talking. I got to show you around the community here a little bit, but uh, the captain just came and talked to me here, filled me in on what's going on. And yeah, the weather is much worse on the other side, so that makes sense. Uh, they have a contact over there that he calls, just stays in contact with to see how it is. And yeah, we can see pretty far here, but apparently on that side, it's, it's really bad. So uh, they all made the call and they're the professionals. They're the sailors, not me. Oh, still doesn't make it any less disappointing. The good news is, though, that uh, apparently there's a cell booster in the ferry that I didn't know about, and that if I walk up close to it, I can actually grab a cell signal and call home. I can just walk down here. I don't have to walk like a kilometer all the way up to the motel next time. I can just, I'll wait a little bit and I'll call home and call into work, send an email, let them know, hey, still stranded. Still stranded, and hopefully tomorrow, hopefully tomorrow we'll get across. And then once we're on that side, I was talking to the captain as well. He says, I, I'm going to have to call into our uh, road network, which is 511. You call 511 and you give them the road 280. And I got to ask him to see if that road's even been cleared. Is it passable? So I might get to the other side of the lake and still not be able to go anywhere because that road hasn't been cleared yet. I feel like it was a mistake <laughs> accepting this load. I feel like, and it's not even that funny, I'm laughing because it's so such a, oh, it's ruined my whole week. I'm lucky I had a really good beginning of this month, so that'll balance it out, but that was supposed to make this month really good. Now this month is just gonna be meh, because I lost a whole week of work here, and I'm not even at home. Like it's It's one thing if you take time off and you're at home, this is uh, time off in a remote community with no cell signal and no data and uh, nowhere to go. I can't move the truck because I can't get up the hill from here. So like I said before, I've only got one direction. I can only go downhill here onto the ferry and I can't go. So hopefully tomorrow morning, they want to leave at 8 a.m. So hopefully around 7.30, they'll be loading us up. Captain promised that I'll be the first aboard. I have a visitor here. Oh, oh, he flew away already. A big bird just landed on my mirror. So yeah, uh, time is now 2.22, and uh, I'll keep you updated. Uh, there's nothing more to update you on, up update you on today. will be sleeping right here again tonight. The joys of the job, the joys of the job. But it is an experience I'll always remember and learn from. And hey, government of Manitoba, let's build them a road, shall we? Come on. Dragging your feet for decades. Build them a road already. This ferry thing isn't working out. It's still storming out there. But the cell signal, the cell booster on the ferry is working. At least I can walk all the way down there and grab a cell signal and call home instead of walking all the way over there. So that, that does work. Tested that out. Um... I hope this storm lets up overnight. They want to load at, uh, or leave here at 8 a.m. tomorrow. And if we don't leave then, hopefully we'll leave in the afternoon. The forecast says it's supposed to be clear tomorrow, but it's still storming like crazy right now. But what can you do? Stranded in Northern Manitoba. At least we got food, we're safe, we're warm, we got lots of fuel. And, uh, Yeah, I don't have to idle my truck very much because I got a bunk heater, an engine heater. I can leave the truck off. I have it idling now just because I'm putting my vlog together using my computer here and stuff. Don't want to drain the batteries. Um, but other than that, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out with me today in York Factory, First Nation, Manitoba. It was fun. Nice little community up here. And uh, I'll be right here in the morning. 
We'll see you then. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, I need your help getting out of here. <laughs> Somebody. <laughs> Make the weather get better. Make the snow go away.